simply get things started. Cause we ain't got no time to waste, I don't mind. Hey, what is up guys? We're gonna go over another Epic 7 video. This is gonna be a pretty important video, so let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new channel, make sure to like button and subscribe. You guys have been killing it lately. Uh, thanks again for all the support. So, we're gonna be going over the anniversary login stuff. It's pretty important because we do get a RGB non-limited selector, and we're gonna be talking about what units she should be going for. Hopefully this video isn't too long, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, starting on, I think the first, uh, we're going to be getting this login. We'll get the, uh, we'll get the artifact. Hopefully it's like an XP booster or something. I feel like for an artifact. And then during like the logins, you'll get rewards. Like right every day we're gonna get, getting some type of rewards, uh, one, two, three, four, all the way up to 15 days. Right. But the thing we're going to be going over today is this very important little piece of login reward, which is a uh, day 15's login reward. It's a RGB, um, non-limited selector. We have information on what units are going to be on it, and we're going to be talking about which ones are going to be best for you, especially if you're a newer like me, and you might wanting to be uh, getting something to boost your account. So, a gift is prepared uh, for the anniversary. You can choose one five-star covenant hero to summon Arya, Teyu, Yuha, uh, Shaoran, Zeno, Yu, uh, Yuna, and any limited summon or collaboration five-star heroes will not be included. Unfortunately, Arya did not make the cut. She was probably the only one that could have made the cut but it seems to be a little too um soon just for her so on the next one we'll be getting probably all these characters on it because they don't usually smash a lot of these selectors together this is actually my first selector so i'm excited for this all right so um login every day for 15 days you get this little rgb selector right so we're gonna be talking about units that you should be picking if you are new like me um so let's go ahead and get straight into it i made a tier list for this but we're gonna be going talking over a couple that are just priority picks and then i'll go over to like the tier list and show you my opinion on like what you should be really going for depending on what your account is and how far along you are right so my number one choice for everyone, doesn't matter who you are, this unit is so universally good, I don't think it matters, it's going to be High Young. High Young is a Fire Warrior Libra damage dealing psychopath that uh, one shots everything in the game. No, but on a real note, uh, let's go over her kit first. Her S3 is why she's so known, uh, she's going to be after dispelling all the buffs from the caster. Uh, attacks the enemy with a secret technique that grants immunity to the cast for two turns. Penetrates the target's defense when the ca uh, when the target's max health is greater than the caster's max health. Damage dealt increases proportional up to the difference up to a maximum amount of 100%. This is probably the single-handed best ultimate in the game when it comes to single target. It just does big damage so keep that in mind it also grants you an extra turn off soul burn so you get to kick some people in the face so let's say you theoretically soul burn this what do you get out of it you get a supersonic kick attacks the enemy with a kick and increases combat readiness of the caster by 10 percent when the caster is buffed inflicts additional damage proportional to the caster's attack regardless of whether the attack hits once again you get a little bit of extra combat boost it looks like it goes to 15 percent. so keep that in mind her s2 um, attacks increases by 35% when attacking. Cannot trigger a critical hit. Damage suffered from the critical hit decreases by 30% when more than one damage reduction effect is granted. Only the strongest effect is applied at the start of battle and at the start, at the end of the turn. Grants a barrier to the caster for one turn. Barrier strength increases proportional to the caster's attack. So she's scaling off a lot of attack. This looks like it's going to be, what is that? A lot higher than this? Sheesh. Um... So yeah, this looks like it's going to go pretty high. Uh, there's a lot of random numbers here. So let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 50%, kind of like summer uh, time ice Syria. Her imprints are going to be effectiveness for the team and attack percent for herself. Obviously, the attack imprint is really, really good. So dupes are always going to be welcomed. Uh, let's go ahead and take a fast look at her ultimate roll fast. And yeah, this is uh, this right here. This, this ultimate is why you should pick her up. Me... Keep in mind that she cannot crit, so building her will be probably a bit easier for you guys who are newer, because you don't have to go for those crit rate stats. You just got to go for that attack stat and health stat, more or less, or more unlikely. You want to earn high health, high attack, and probably high defense with decent speed. That way, um, she can proc this and just kill whatever's in front of her. So, once again, this is probably your most of your guys', including my number one pick, so there you guys go. 
Now, let's say you don't want to go high young for whatever reason. You, maybe you, you own her. Maybe you miss someone else. What other options are there for you? Depending on your playstyle, the options will vary. So we're going to go over a couple here before we go into the tier list of maybe some options for you. My number two option for most players, depending on if they want to play with this style, is going to be Cleave style. If you want to go Cleave style, you might as well just go for Ran. Uh, you guys have seen him if you've been watching my channel. Mine's 270 speed and a whole lot of ass kicking. Mine's actually slower, ironically, because I'm an aggro player. But if I was like a full-on speed player, I'd go for that you know sweet, sweet 300 plus speed on this guy. What does it say? This guy's like the best opener in the game when it comes to cleave teams. Uh, to briefly go over his kit, his S2 is what you open with normally. Mental focus grants immunity to all allies for two turns before increasing attack of the caster for two turns. Grant an extra turn to the caster. Right? Uh, so he's giving himself 50% more damage on top of giving himself an extra turn in immunity. Right, right, pretty good. Uh, his S3 is going to be uh, attacks all enemies with a sword, dispelling two buffs before 80% chance to inflict stigma for two turns and 65% chance to increase defense for two turns. Grants skill level fire once to the caster proportional damage increases to the caster's speed. So the faster he is, the more damage he'll do. Uh, stigma is going to make it to where you decrease the amount of healing they can get and reduces combat readiness. And then on his S1, he, he just penetrates 20% and it's damage dealt. Oh, proportional to the caster speeds. So the faster he is, the more damage he'll do. Once again, if you want to be a cleaver, you need this guy. He's the best opener in the game, right? But let's just say you theoretically have this guy. Who is your follow-up cleaver? Glad you asked. Pira would be the other option that you could go for if you already have Rand. Vice versa, if you have Pira, go for Rand. You know, if you're a cleaver, obviously you know what you're doing. I shouldn't have to go over all their kits, but you know... We'll do, uh, we'll just move on. Uh, so the top two, in my opinion, are going to be High Young and Ran. And then by following up by that, if you want to be Cleaver, Pira is going to be a great option if you want to stick that full on Cleave style. Moving on to maybe something a little bit more bulky. Maybe you want to know what bulky units are worth going for. Glad you asked. We're going to go, not for you, you're not on the banner. We're going to go Alencia because she actually got buffed and she's been really doing well in RTA. So if you are a bulky player and you like to play um, slower, guess what? She's got another buff because of the uh, artifact from Edward. So if you throw Edward's artifact on her, it works on her just fine. But just in case you don't know what she does, uh, let's go over her kit real fast and why this is probably my number three option for those bulky players out there. So, attacks all enemies with dragon's might, dispelling all buffs, and grants decreased uh, increased defense for to all allies for two turns, increased combat readiness of the caster with 50%, damage dealt, increased proportional to the caster's health. So she's at max health scaling units. So she's a warrior, not to be surprised. Rest two. At the start of turn, has a 75% chance to grant Mind's Eye to the caster for one turn after using Eradicate. When using, uh, when the caster is granted Mind's Eye, activates Trampled as an extra skill. Trample attacks the enemy by striking from above, inflicting injuries. Damage dealt increases proportional to max health. The set, set, severity of the injuries increases proportional to the damage dealt, increase, and injuries decreases max health of the target by up to 10% every time the skill is used. So you're just chopping max health off, right? Really annoying. Now her S1, Eradicate, attacks the enemy, battling them uh, with 60% chance to increase, decrease defense for one turn. Damage dealt increases towards, you know, max health. Soulburn effect is increases the effect chance to 100% and decreases defense of the target for two turns. Uh, she also has her own equipment. Um, if you want to go over these and pick, I, I couldn't tell you which one to go for. And honestly, they're probably all in their own way usable. But she does get crit chance on this, so it's really nice. So uh, I I don't really know. This this sounds pretty good. The effectiveness increase sounds pretty cool. Um, recovery, like the, I don't know. You'd have to ask someone who's more of an expert alongside Valencia to really pick and choose for that. I'm not really the person to ask, so I won't lead you down that uh, path. Of failure. Oh, I forgot to show off Rand skill, but it's fine. We'll, we'll go to Rand after this. We'll show off her ultimate real fast, so you know what you're getting yourself into. I'm sure you've seen it plenty of times. She is in story, and she does kind of sneeze on you if you're not prepped for her while you fight her. But that's her ultimate, guys. So neat. Um, let's go over. I guess we should go back to Rand real fast and show off Rand's ult since Rand is a stud muffin and uh, has a really cool looking ult. So. I think we'll go over maybe a couple more options and then I'll go to the tier list. Uh, probably two, three more options, maybe less, uh, depending on if I really feel like they're worth discussing or not. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that real fast. 
I do think we should probably bring up a Fire 5 star that you might be wondering why she's not in this list, but we're going to put her in the list right now. Where is she at? Politis is probably going to be some that tell you to go for Politis because she's a great in RTA and a great counterpick towards many units. So what does she do? Mainly based around her S2, so we'll go over S2. Astral Guide. Um, when the enemy is not an elite or boss monster, reduces the effect of combat readiness, increases granted to the enemy by 50%. This effect is not stacked with other passive effects of the name, uh, same name. Activates Tranquility when the enemy uses a non-attack skill. Tranquility can only be activated once every two turns. Tranquility ability attacks all enemies, decreasing buff duration by one turn before increasing combat readiness of the caster by 30%. So she's, a, she's gonna see our push the enemy team back. It's really annoying. For S3 is usually what you follow up with. Uh, this is gonna tackle enemies um, with a 75% chance to decrease hit chance and make them unmovable for two turns. For S1 is just gonna have a stun on it, extra turn granted on the, on the soul burn. What, what, what can I say? This unit's very annoying against cleavers and most units that don't have an attack up skill or attack skill. So Arya, Samurai Syria, Rans S2. You guys get the point. If you don't have an attack skill, she's annoying to go against, which is why she'll probably be on some recommended lists like mine. And I think we'll go over one more unit that uh, well, I didn't show off her ultimate. Um, maybe we'll go over one more unit before we go into the list real fast. So we'll go ahead and burn this. Those those four are the main ones I would recommend going for if you're gonna go for any. The following units are more so if you have these units and you were looking for something else, then that's by all means if you want to, it's fine. So the last unit I do think is a must talk about because everyone's probably gonna talk about her is going to be Tamarine. She's the most niche out of all of them. Well, I guess not really niche. Those are PvP units. She's the most um she's not a damage dealer. She is a healer that's for PvE, PvE exclusively. The reason why she's so good is because when you pop her ultimate, she becomes completely broken. Um, she makes it to where she can dispel, she heals, she gives you attack ups. She, she's just the, the ultimate like PvE support. So if you would like to go for her, then by all means, if you want a good PvE healer, then by all means, grab yourself a Tamarine. I don't really have much to say about this unit. She's really easily buildable. Full HP is fine with a little bit of speed. And uh, yeah, she's just the ultimate support for PvE content and content things alike. So there you guys go. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll switch over to this. And here is my recommendation list for those who might have some. Also, I forgot to go over Mouse, but whatever. We'll talk about her. So my top picks for you, obviously, are going to be High Young and Ran. High Young is more universally good in all comps. Uh, Ran is more so at the top dog for cleaving. And then followed by Alincia and, uh, and Mousy Chick, uh, mainly because they're great picks for those bulkier team comps. And then I would say Pol uh, Politis and Tamarine are like the last ones on this top pick list. Honestly, if you go down the list, this is probably what I would rate in the order that you should go picking them from and checking them off your box box so if you have high young check if you have a if you're into his style if not pick yourself up on lincia or a mouse and then you're good to go if you have all four of these characters you probably already have politis and so what are you doing here um you probably have all these units if you have these two right so let's talk about units and the really good options that i think are worth talking about because they are very good if you own ran but you don't own pira you might as well pick her up uh because she's your secondary cleave opener because if you go into rta and they ban ran you're gonna need a fallback and she's a great fallback even though she's being slightly uh she's been sl slowly dropping in the tier list but she's still very good this uh roana and destina great so uh healers and they have revives in their kit obviously they're very good uh ida is a very good damage dealing opener or i guess you could use their opener but she's a good damage dealer for cleave teams Celine is a very good unit to go against. Like she's similar to Politis. She plays very similarly. The only difference is she's single target and she's meant to kill things that try to pop non-attack skill. So if Rand popped a non-attack skill, you can send her after whoever he's buffing. Normally it's like summertime hysteria or something like that. She'll go snipe and try to kill in one hit. Very good counter unit to uh, pick up. Very similar to Politis. Once again, the only difference is that she's not CR pushing back. She's just doing damage. And then Crawl is going to be the last one on this list because he's just a very good unit. You know, he's kind of like a reverse High Young, the lower. Well, he's I guess in a way he's kind of like Yuha, or you Yuha, the original one. Um, the, you know the green chick that's supposed to kill High Young. He's kind of like that. He's really low, and then you war pony and you one shot someone, right? 
Now let's talk about other options that you could do. I'm not really recommending it, but if you have all these other characters, I mean, if you want to have fun, by all means. Violet's a good option. He's a little bit inconsistent, but if he works for in your favor for PvP, then he'll pop off and kill everything. Uh, Sinya, a very good uh, tankier unit that has uh, been popping off lately, so you could go for her technically. And then Pavel. The only reason Pavel's here is because he's a cleaver that's going to work really well with ML Pavel. So if you want to summon for ML Pavel and you only have so many openers, ML Pavel will be really good with normal Pavel, so you can technically pick him up so they can run together. Just that's the only reason it's up here is because he can run up ML Pavel probably very well and it's going to be probably one of his best friends to run with on the field if Bran gets banned. Or whoever else gets banned. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. If I miss anyone, let them know in the comments below. That way they can actually read and see what I missed. I don't think I missed anything of too much importance. I feel like I covered the main top picks pretty well. And uh, yes, 15 days from the first, uh, or I guess, I guess the first of the or 15th of September is when you should be able to get this, I think. So once again, I will be going for uh, this chick right here. Hi Young. Whoever you go for, best of luck, and I hope that you have gear pre-prepped for them, like I have my gear pre-prepped on my account already. Um, I guess before we wrap up, I will show you what I'm going to be putting on my Hi Young. That way, if you guys have questions about builds, you can kind of just follow my guidelines a little bit. You don't have to go one for one with it. My build's a little different than most, but it will be just fine. So here's what I'm going to be rocking on my Hi Young. Two-piece health and four-piece speed. Our health is going to, well, I can't really show you the stats for average because Ravi obviously has different health uh, stats, but um, the stats on my weapon are health attack speed, effect resistance, health defense speed, effect resistance, uh, speed effect resistance, health effectiveness. Um, her boots are health attack effectiveness, health uh, effect resistance. Her ring is a attack main stat, speed, health effectiveness, effect resistance, and attack percent on the main part of her ring health affecting the speed defense no crit rate no crit damage you can't utilize it you just want a lot of attack a lot of health and a lot of bulk and as much speed as you can get ideally over 200 percent or 200 is probably fine so that's how i'm gonna build my high young ignore the artifact it's not for her i don't really know what i'm gonna throw on her yet hopefully they rerun uber's tooth so i can pick that up for her and yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and good luck on your summons or i guess good luck on your ticket peace